Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video, and in this video I'm going to be going over Google Chrome 45, which is in the Canary build, and I'm going to be going over some of the new features in it that I found interesting. So, uh, the first one I want to talk about is enabling fast tab closing, and this is all in uh, about flags, by the way, but I just found this interesting, uh, so when you close a tab, it should theoretically close faster. Now when I do it, I didn't really notice a big change. If I have all these tabs open and I close them, I don't really see a big change, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on and I found it pretty interesting. I'm uh, moving on to something that's been on a wish list of mine for quite a while, but it's been only Linux for a pretty long time is smooth scrolling. So, it used to be just for Linux you could enable this, but it's finally coming to Windows and it's it's buggy, obviously, this is Canary, but, um, you know, it's not as good as Edge or Internet Explorer or Firefox, but it's definitely, you know, getting there. I'd say it's actually, uh, on average, better than the default scrolling in Google Chrome, but it has a long way to go. Uh, it doesn't really recognize momentum, so when I'm scrolling a lot, it doesn't go faster, it just stays the same speed. So it definitely takes a long time if you've got a really, really long web page. And keeping on theme with scroll bars, overlay scroll scroll bars. Uh, it's just an aesthetic thing. Uh, so when you go onto a website, I'll go to, uh, for example, uh, you're gonna have black scroll bars that sort of hide if you're not uh, using them. As you can see on the right side, uh, there's a very very thin scroll bar. And then when I hover over it, it becomes fat, it animates to become uh, wider so I can drag it around and I can uh, sort of click around and navigate using it. So it sort of blends in with whatever website you're on, uh, similar to what Microsoft Edge does. Uh, so I like it. It looks pretty, very, very nice in my opinion, better than the boring Windows 8 scroll bar it used. So yeah, definitely looks nice there. I like that feature quite a bit. And scrolling down a little bit more, uh, material design is a lot. It's actually featured a lot in about flags now. Uh, it says it should be material design up here. I actually don't see any material design even when it's enabled, so I really don't know what they're talking about. But that's probably going to be a feature coming soon, and I'm definitely excited for material design on Chrome. Uh, next one is download status in the notification center in Google Chrome. So there's a notification center here if you didn't know. Uh, so when I download something, for example, and a picture, uh, and I go ahead and whoa, and I go ahead and download it onto the desktop. Uh, as you can see right here, it will show up as a notification instead of uh, what it usually shows up as, which is a bar at the bottom with a little circle that shows how much it downloaded. It shows up as a notification. Now, obviously, it's glitched out right now, but I can still close out of it and I can click it to see the image. So that's definitely an interesting feature. I actually prefer this compared to just taking up like a somewhat large part of the screen real estate. So I definitely prefer this. I uh, want to see that get better. And I believe there are two more. Uh, so this one right here is enabling large icons on the new tab page. It doesn't work yet, but I imagine that's for getting Google Chrome uh, better optimized for touch devices since that's definitely a complaint that a lot of people have had also seeing that it can be enabled on Android. So definitely looking for getting touch, getting Chrome touch optimized, which should be a priority uh, since a lot of devices are touch based. Another interesting thing here that I talked about in a previous video, uh, material UI for PDF viewers, it's working pretty well. I'll have a link probably annotated or as a card. Uh, I talked about that in the previous Google Chrome video I made. Uh, it's looking, it's going, it's coming around pretty, pretty nicely. And there was another thing, and here it is. Uh, answers in Suggest. So this is a feature that's been part of Google Chrome for, I think, five, five uh, versions now. But uh, I still, it seems to be coming along pretty nicely. So if I have a website and I type something in, in, in you know, just natural language, it'll come up with something, uh, an answer right in uh, right in the suggestions there. So if I type in temperature in Denver, for example, it knows I'm in Denver and says 59 degrees. If I do that with Washington, it'll say 78 degrees. Um, that's just one example of what it's going to do. Similar to what, again, I mentioned Microsoft Edge a bunch, but Cortana integration, very similar. Um, it's not yet exact, 
Uh, sometimes, like right now, I typed that in and it just got thrown off completely and it's not showing me anything, but it does work most of the time when you've got something basic like that. Uh, and this one, I mean, this isn't really new, but it's definitely glad to see that. there. I don't know why this isn't default. Tab audio muting, I mean, that's in Safari. It works well. I haven't seen it glitch out at all. I think it should be default, but that's probably coming soon. And the last one is, again, material design downloads. Uh, it's just, it's not really working yet, of course, but uh, it gives you an interesting glimpse into what they're planning here. So you've got a search box here. Uh, clearly, I've downloaded stuff. As you guys saw, I downloaded a picture twice, but it doesn't really work right now, but it will open up the downloads folder if I click on that text. So it's interesting to see where they're going with material design in Chrome. It's there's a lot of material design in about flag so it's going to be interesting to see where that goes but that's pretty much it google chrome 45 canary i'm pretty excited there's a lot of new features uh that seem to be going pretty well uh that are going to be that will be coming in the next uh stable build update so that's pretty much it definitely stay tuned for more google chrome videos i've got more windows 10 coverage coming up but uh that's pretty much it if you like this video be sure to give it a like and i'll see you in the next video